Hey YouTube, got a Massey Ferguson 175 tractor split apart. Started on a clutch job behind this uh, Perkins 236. I will say it does run well, so I am uh, pretty focused on repairing this multi power. With that said, what I assume to be an issue condition is in high range with the clutch applied, I get a clunking noise in one direction and then I cannot rotate the input shaft in the other direction. In low range, everything seems to be fine. I'm going to uh, set my camera mount down here and get some air pressure to the input on the valve and uh, show you all what I'm talking about here. With that said, it's in low, no pressure. One direction and the other, it's fine. All of it seems locked together. I can't rotate anything independently. So, what I'm gonna try to do now, get some air pressure applied to it. I'm gonna shift it to high. Then I'm gonna rotate the input and you can hear the clunking noise. Low, high range shift. And some good healthy clunking. Other direction, locked up. This is transmission in neutral, and I get locked out. Shift it back to low. Good both directions. Touch it again, shift it to high. Plunking in one, locked in the other. Shift it to low, free and clear, no air. Nice and quiet. At this rate, like I said, I'd like to get after a repair and before I pull the front end of it out, drop the lower lay shaft, I'd like to get a good idea if there's something I should be looking for. Maybe one of these end play controlling uh, uh, washers or whatnot is worn. This is my first time into a tractor, first time into a multi power. At this rate, I'm looking to see if YouTube has a little guidance. I did get into the pump on this tractor. I did give the distribution plate a full revolution, and I will say it does run very well. So I'd like to make this multi power go. Don't want to go gutting it before I have a, uh, an idea if there's something I need to be uh, looking for here. Other than that, waiting on some uh, filter parts. Waiting on some uh, clutch parts. And uh, from there, we'll see if we can't get this thing back together. So all you Massey guys out there, hell even you tractor guys out there, if somebody's got an idea, please uh, let me know in the comments. Looking for a little guidance. Hey, uh, thanks for a couple of minutes here today. Keep on running your tractors and keep on farming. Hey, thanks.